China is holding military drills to show force and displeasure following U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's visit to Taiwan. Along with moves to isolate Taiwan diplomatically, China has long threatened military action over moves by the island to solidify its independence. Earlier this week, China warned of consequences over the House Speaker's visit to Taiwan. Meantime, Japan says five Chinese missiles landed in its exclusive economic zone waters. It could soon be easier for air passengers to receive refunds for time changes or delays. It's part of a new proposal. The Department of Transportation is suggesting that passengers could get a refund if their arrival or departure time is moved by at least three hours. Previously, airlines were only required to issue refunds if there was a significant departure time change. There's no word on when the new policy could possibly take effect. Gas prices dropped again overnight. In fact, for the 51st day in a row in Michigan now, we're paying an average of 411 a gallon. That's down three cents from yesterday, and it's down 20 cents from the week before. Maggie Vespa is in Chicago with more on whether we can expect prices to continue to go down.